I'm going to make a parrot, uh, and I'm going to make a parrot that can sit on a toothpick or something like that. So I am going to take a piece of tin foil, and I'm not going to use that much. So I'm just going to take a tiny piece, and I am sticking this to my toothpick. Rolling it nice around my toothpick. Nice and tight, something like that. And I'm going to tape it here in the end, just to make sure it doesn't unwrap while working on it, like that. You don't need to do this because you can make uh, standing feet as well if you like to, but I'm going to show you this because I think it could be fun to have a parrot sitting on a stick. And then I took some orange clay and rolled it out in a very, very thin snake that I'm going to use for the feet. Uh, so I'm going to take at least two equal pieces for the feet here. And taking one of the piece, the pieces, bending them around my tiny stick with tin foil, like that. And then I'm just going to make two tiny uh, toes on each of these feet. So I'm sticking it here on the first little piece I made. And I'm doing it here with another piece. And as I would like to avoid this uh, changing uh, shape and stuff like that, then I'm definitely going to bake it before I keep working on it. Uh, but I'm going to give it a bit of a texture here before I bake it. And when I'm happy with my two feet here, I am going to bake these on the stick. I picked my tiny feet here, um, so now I am going to make the body and for that I'm taking some light green. You can use different colors, but I'm going to take some light green. So I am taking a piece of my light green um, that I think have the right size. And I am just going to part it in two here. So I have a ball for my body. And I have a tiny bowl for my head. So I'm having my feet here and I'm taking some bacon bond. You can use a uh, female liquid as well if you like. And I'm just taking tiny blobs of bacon bond and putting it here on the feet. Then I'm going to take the body and I'm going to roll it. And I'm making like a pointy end, like a pear shape. Uh, and I'm going to bend that pear shape a bit. So I have something looking like this. And this I'm going to put on the feet and putting on the head of my parrot. Now I'm going to take some kind of bowl tool and I am going to make uh, the head and the body stick together. And when I'm happy with that, it's not that good, but when I'm happy with that, I am going to texture the whole body with small dots. I textured the whole body and the head of my parrot. So it's looking something like this now. And I'm going to try to put it there. Then I'm going to take another piece of clay, rolling it out in a cone again and squishing it flat. This is for the tail. So I am shaping it a bit for the way I want my tail to look. And again, I'm going to dot it to look more like feather. And I'm going to take that. And I'm putting that on the tail here. And I'm going to take two tiny pieces more of green clay and then 
taking the cone and squeezing them flat. This is for the wings and if you can make them almost the same size it would be perfect and of course shape. And again I'm using my dotting tool for making it look like feather giving some texture for it. And then I'm taking these small wings and I'm sticking them here at the side. So here we go for now. It looks like this. So I'm going for um, making the eyes and for that I'm going to take a tiny bit of white clay. I squeezed a piece of uh, two pieces of white clay flat and I'm cutting out a half circle in each of these. Something like that I think. Yep. I'm going to take one of these and again I'm using my dotting tool because that's just a good tool. Putting one here on one side of the head. Then I'm going to take a tiny 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 blob of black clay here for the uh, eye. You can see it right there. And I'm going to put that on my white clay. And I'm using the orange clay from uh, earlier. Taking first a tiny uh, piece of it. Rolling it into a tiny cone. Cutting off a little here. Um, and I'm placing that for the lower part of the mouth. So I'm making this tiny piece of clay in a point and I'm going to try to make it um, point upwards. Then I'm going to take a bigger piece of clay and I'm shaping it on my table a bit so that I have it flat and going in a downward position. I'm not sure you can see that. And I'm sticking that on top of the beak. Something like this. But I'm going to shape it a bit more. And actually you want the white to go all out to the beak. So I am going to try to see if I can remove this without ruining it. And there you have a tiny part. You can make these in all different colors or with flat feet. I like to make it like this so he can sit in a cage uh, or wherever you like him to go. So this is uh, one part and I'm going to pick this and then I will glaze his beak and yeah that's it. Oh you can make some uh, nostrils on it with a pointy needle tool just making two tiny indents in the beak like that you need that too all i have to say is happy crafting mm -hmm.